This is the new massive resistance. The old massive resistance fought against African Americans being allowed in schools, to be allowed to have an education alongside with everybody else. This new massive resistance fight against uh, students learning about African American history that would put African American history, indigenous people's history, all the other histories, AAPI history, on equal footing with European history. You can see it all throughout the curriculum. I read all four versions of the revised standards. The August version was comprehensive, factual, unbiased, and also provided the curriculum framework in one package. I think it will be hard to beat that version, but that is not where we are. We all know Governor Youngkin rejected the November version, but my recollection is that the board wanted the DOE to merge the August and November versions into a new version. In January, the DOE released another version. I have quite a few issues with that version, and I only have time to mention a few. There are errors and omissions, and it is a, it is political. I am happy to elaborate further if you would like to. In December, a collaborative version was released, but not by DOA. That version did actually merge the August and November versions into an acceptable document, but there was not a curriculum framework, and we need to review that part. So I maintain that the August version is what would be most useful to our students and that the, we need to see the curriculum framework, please. I stand before you today to add my voice to the course of hundreds of Virginians who actually contributed to the already collaborative August 2022 set of standards and curriculum by asking that you vote to move that version forward for citizen comments and add the information that this other group has, has added uh, in that process as it reflects the will of all Virginians versus a set of out-of-state consultants who do not have the best interest of our children and future citizens at heart.